90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days star Gino Balot solo gave fans a job update after he revealed that he'd been unemployed for several months on the show. The 51-year-old is rethinking his future with his 90 Day Fiancé girlfriend, Jasmine Pineda, as he discovers a new side to her every day. After having met Jasmine's best friend Leo and finding out how violent she can get, Gino also witnessed her being verbally abusive only because he defended his ex-wife. But since one of the main causes of Jasmine being unhappy was Gino not having enough money to spend on a Christmas gift, perhaps him having a job changes things. When Jasmine insisted on Gino getting a makeover just so he could make a good first impression on her friend, Gino realized that their spending habits are different. In 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days Episode 5, Gino said that because he was out of work, spending $500 on clothes alone was not something he would do. He could tell Jasmine was upset, he was shocked by Jasmine's behavior since she knew of his situation. Gino didn't want Jasmine to see him as a walking cash machine either since he'd already spent a lot on her during the nine months they were dating long distance. According to Gino, Jasmine wasn't working and was having a rough time, which is why he helped her with her lips, eyebrows, facial treatments, hair and teeth. Still, Gino didn't think Jasmine was materialistic in the 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days premiere, but things have changed since. According to a screenshot from Gino's Instagram page, acquired by Monsters and Critics, Gino found himself a job. Lately, Gino has been posting a lot of throwback photos on Instagram from his first trip to Panama to see Jasmine. On one of these photos, a 90 Day Fiancé fan gave Gino some financial and relationship advice. Don't let her make you spend all your money bag. Love don't cost a United States dollar. To this, a different fan replied, Gino spent all that money. I know you don't have much. But Gino had a surprising response to both of the followers. The automotive engineer exclaimed, Thanks so much. Good news I'm working again. On the show, Gino stated that he got laid off from his job seven months ago due to the pandemic, which could have been in May 2020 since Gino and Jasmine first met in December 2020. On his LinkedIn page, Gino confirmed this as he seems to have worked from May 2019 to May 2020 as an engineering program manager with the Ford Motor Company in Dearborn, Michigan. However, in June 2021, Ginny started working with Forisha in Auburn Hills, Michigan in a product development engineer position. Even when Gino was unemployed, he said he had sizable savings, which he was digging into to help Jasmine with her beauty treatments. So in case Gino and Jasmine are still together after 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days, Jasmine may have received the Christmas present of her dreams in 2021. After all, in a recent series of Instagram stories, Jasmine reposted an article that claimed Gino's alleged net worth is $1.5 million. While this number has yet to be confirmed, Gino seems to be happy that he not only has a career as a reality TV star but also as an automotive engineer. 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days airs Sundays at 8 p.m. EST on TLC Sources, Monsters and Critics, Gino Palazzolo slash LinkedIn.